People often ask, why do I have to make so many videos about alpha investment? Well, what if I told you that he resembles somebody else? And I learned from Anthony Farrar, who's sitting in jail right now, that if you don't make the video and you don't screenshot the evidence, they're going to pretend that it never happened. Anthony Farrar stole $5 million of consignment watches and Rolexes, Richard Mills, and now he's sitting in jail because... One of his best tactics was to promote what was clearly a scam and then delete it. Uh, he did this with really fancy restaurants. He had different students. Uh, he had a Watts University, right, which is now deleted. And if you go on his channel, it's Anthony Farrar. You can know that he deleted his channel because the government is investigating him. So when people delete one video, I kind of get it. But when people delete dozens and dozens and dozens of videos like look at the you can go online you can google these titles and you won't find them today you know they've been removed uh tops chrome meta zoo record shattering serialized cards 9999 meta zoo 30th anniversary boxes these videos no longer exist meta zoo native is a home run success these are from my screenshots from three months ago I learned very early on covering Anthony Farrar that if you don't make videos about every little detail, they're going to get away with it. And what do I mean by get away with it? Well, if you're alpha investments and your whole stick is that people should trust you when you're telling them about card investment ideas, then it doesn't make sense of MetaZoo. Because MetaZoo was a failure. Even you yourself said it was never investable. Oh, here's the Mike Waddell video. I, I don't know if that's the reserve list video or he has another video about the reserve list, but it's kind of hilarious. Uh, unfortunately, the Mike Waddell video is no longer. When you search his channel for Mike, it's no longer here. That video, the proof nightfall is a pyramid scheme, which it turned out to be, uh, that was the video I was looking for because I wanted to actually figure out how many of these kits he sold. Uh, even at $820 a kit, each of those boxes being worth a kit, you know, a box per kit, it would be quite interesting. So here uh, he's saying the MetaZoo box is $10,000. He's saying uh, defective box, MetaZoo first edition box breaks $1,000. That's not the Kickstarter, by the way. So he surely pumped it. No, I, I don't think anyone has any doubt from the even the title of these videos, which have now been deleted, that there was a pump. Oh, here is uh, my favorite uh, video from Mike Waddell. MetaZoo? Reserve list? Question mark? Um, MetaZoo UFO bottoms out and stabilizes. That is a set that's for the longest time sold for $10 a box. Now it's selling for less or sold for $20 a box. Official Alpha Investment Partners of MetaZoo. I've noticed that has been deleted. MetaZoo announces $10,000 plus for golden tickets. I noticed that was not true. I think a MetaZoo cryptid keeper, he bought a ticket for $5,000. So clearly they're not paying $10,000 for it because the guy who sold it for $10,000 or sold it for $5,000, couldn't he just turn it in for like MetaZoo stock? MetaZoo Seance sees record pre-order. Oh, don't get me started on the money effing pre-orders, guys. <laughs> None of, you know, like, they, they had this thing called a native streamer kit, and it was a year ago, and, I mean, they still haven't received it today. I think it was, like, almost a year or two ago, right? Like, they paid $100 a kit, and no one has received it. These money effing pre-orders are just hilarious, right? First non-Kickstarter MetaZoo box opening, long overdue. MetaZoo returns, let's break the 1K thumbs down button. So this, I, I think that was back when we could actually track thumbs down without like an app, right? So that was some time back. So, I mean, he made a shit ton. You think I made a lot of Rudy videos? This Muddy Effort made a ton of MetaZoo videos. Golden ticket. And sometimes he wouldn't name it MetaZoo. Because he didn't want the negativity, right? Nine six nine six nine six nine six nine MetaZoo Kickstarter 
first edition opening booster box. MetaZoo continues to expand my first Nightfall booster box opening. MetaZoo prepares for launch. Like, do you realize like none of these videos are live now? Like, he was a massive MetaZoo supporter. And now, what? Uh, MetaZoo strikes a deal with Walmart. MetaZoo continues to push forward. None of these are negative towards MetaZoo, right? All the negative videos are still up, so he must have chose the videos because his video about losing a million dollars from MetaZoo is still up. But none of the... I mean, just read the titles, right? Um, the next scam is coming, and then in the comment section, if anyone says it's a scam, they're going to roast you alive. Right, continuing to lose money. Uh, I don't think that's a meta zoo. Could be a meta zoo video. Could not. I don't know. Definitely not a S and P five hundred video. I can tell you that much. Uh, turning on the assembly line. Uh, yeah, I remember this. I he he basically made. I don't know if you guys remember this, but every set he would have a video like that, and he would show like a giant pyramid of boxes and saying like how successful it was. Those videos have been deleted. Um. A lot of these videos, you know, during the MetaZoo, so the videos that specifically are positive about MetaZoo have all been deleted. I think a lot of the videos where he mentions MetaZoo, he's probably going through them right now and editing them out. And remember, Rudy doesn't delete stuff, right? Like, if you're a stockbroker, you take your L. Oh, here's some more, okay? Uh, channel update. Hello. So this was three months ago. The only reason I have this is because I knew he would delete the videos. And how did I know? Well, I tracked another guy, Anthony Farrar, and I know that when things shit, you know, when because when you're ready for a next pump, he does the last thing he wants people in the comment section of his sorcery videos to say is MetaZoo, MetaPoo, MetaZoo. He wants people to forget that MetaZoo even existed. You know? But so, so I found this when I was trying to click this thing. I was trying to click that video. You see that video screenshot? That is Rudy's video put on Reddit two years ago. So I wanted to actually know how many people bought these Nightfall editions. So he has two giant pyramids. So I was going to do some funny math and do the, and then I clicked on it and the video was gone. And then I was like, wait, so what else is gone? And it turns out a lot of videos have been deleted. You know, Alpha Investment, big uh, person, big man, right? He says that you got to take your losses with your wins. This is uh, taking your losses with your wins, right? Nah, this is mo moving on to the next pump and dump.